I need, uh, let's say I need like free village people, okay? Free villager, villagers. Uh, no, no, not, not those village people. Not those village people. <laughs> I guess you can do that if you want. But, uh, why don't we get Brother Lovell? I, I'm, I'm calling you out here. A village person. Um, Mike Shoup does the YMCA good. Mike, yeah, okay, Brother Shoup. I don't think you need to be back there for now. Let's, let's get you to do, the, do a villager. And we need one more villager here. Village idiot. Why don't we get... Uh, Brother Brucci, you want to be involved in this as a villager? Okay. Okay, now, now we need somebody who can act like an animal. We need a we need a we need a wolf. Okay, we need a wolf. Now we're just we're just we're just getting our cast here. You don't have to be involved right away yet. So we need a wolf. Who can feel like they can act like a wolf pretty well? Brother George. Brother George. <laughs> I won't get Brother George. He, he, he was up early and had a long weekend. He was about ready to die at Purpose Institute, that poor guy. I look back at him, and he's like a zombie. He was counting mail all morning. And <laughs> Why don't we get Jake? I'm thinking Jake. And, like I said, it's just, a, it's just a Jake thing. I think he could be okay. All right, a wolf, a wolf. I'm sorry, a wolf. Okay, so here. Now, we need our shepherd boy. You're a shepherd boy. Why don't you sit up here on this... On this little step here if you can. It. It'll be alright, I think. If not, you can get up. <laughs> if it doesn't break before you get up. Oh, boy. Okay, it's alright. Okay, so, now I want you to picture, this is no longer a sanctuary, this is no longer an altar, and I'm no longer here. I am just a narrator. We are in a beautiful countryside, maybe like a New Zealand type look, kind of like, uh, maybe like a little damp and wet, kind of like, you know, just like the, the I don't know, the deep uh, undertones or whatever just looks really beautiful maybe the stone hedge is off in the background or something that'd be nice. i don't think that's in new zealand is it but whatever but in this story it is okay so the stone hedge is in the, maybe in the background and now we got caleb we got caleb the shepherd sitting here okay so he's sitting here in this beautiful green hill hillside now it is caleb's job he watches the villagers beautiful sheep okay it's his job to watch the sheep now he's sitting here. Well, I guess I didn't get any sheep, but that'll be all right. He's sitting here. He's okay. Hey, you guys right here on the front. You want to be our sheep? Okay. You want to be our sheep? I need you to stand right here in this in this area here, right here, right here in this area on your hands and knees. Okay. This is our sheep. Now, bye. Okay. Now this is this is Caleb, our shepherd. Sit, oh, yeah, okay, Wolf, yeah, you can sit down for now. Caleb, our shepherd, he's sitting here, and he is watching these rambunctious sheep. Now, these sheep belong to our villagers here. So this is his job to watch their sheep while they're out tending to other needs in the village. So now Caleb's sitting there. He's watching the sheep, and as he begins to watch the sheep, he gets bored to tears. He doesn't know what to do with himself. Nothing he do seems to entertain himself. No amount of scaring the sheep. <laughs> no amount of throwing rocks <laughs> nothing could seem to entertain him no amount of shenaniganizing he could find himself in so now this thought came to him finally to amuse himself he took a great breath and sang out wolf wolf the wolf is chasing the sheep wolf now, he's not a very good shepherd like David, and let's say that again. Immediately as he says this, the villagers come running. Wolf! Wolf! The wolf is chasing the sheep! <laughs> now they come to drive him away, and they ask, where are the sheep? Where's, I mean, the, sheep? Where, where's the wolf? Sorry, not the sheep. I screwed up. Where's the wolf? <laughs> you tell them, sorry, no wolf. I just wanted to have some fun. He laughs at them as they walk away. Their face is angry. They're disgusted. So as they walk away, the brother Brucci villager says, Don't cry wolf, shepherd boy, unless there is a wolf. Don't cry wolf unless there is a wolf. Okay, so now, fast forward to a few weeks later. You know, maybe it's raining out now. He's huddled under a little tent or something. And he's finding himself bored again. And he's wondering what it might look like if he gets these villagers to run up in the poor 